They call me Soul, Soul Baby. Soul Baby? Yeah. Keep it in control, baby. I hear you, baby. My name's Noah J. Bird. Noah J. Bird? Caca! Oh, you like to fly. I fly, baby. Fly, fly, fly away, baby. In the clouds, no frowns. All right, now that's what I'm talking about. Tears, no fears, man. Is that right? Respect it, don't neglect it. All right, that's what I'm talking about, baby. My brother. Treat it, don't beat him, all right, baby. You're a badass motherfucker. I have backer, man. What up, Mark? I got my friend or Umberto down the street. <laughs> and Kyle, what's up, brother? We got Chris in here. What's up, Chris? What up, uh, Mark? What's going on? Are you going to give us the NFT update? Oh, what up, Norman? David, hey, 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 hey. I want to know, who the fuck is the real comic book community? Who, who, who? Is it? Is it this weirdo? <laughs> what up, C-Bizzle? Station. Hey. Good to see you, man. Hey, thanks for hey. jumping on. What's up, guys? <laughs> what up, Digger Jim? Like, what's up, Travis? What's what up, bro? Dude? Mike. Would be a great guy to tell a story. What's going on, Blake? Scotty, are you involved? Hey, what up, Drag? Good to see you, homie. What up, BLC? How you doing, bro? What's going on, man? Remy Q. What's up, my guy? Hey, what up, Carrie? Yes. I, I Google things. Got I think it's funny in the house. Though, What's up, dude? Biggie. What up, LCS? You know anything about this? Circumstance, can you hum it for us? No. <laughs> <laughs> dun, 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 dun. What up, man? Spine takes crew in the house. Oh, you look especially shiny today, Phil. Trav the shipping guru. What's up, my dude? What's up, Soggy? What's, What's up, up man? man? Rob's fat snacks. Are you here to stop FOC? Shout out to Frog Brawler. Oh, What's up, man, Alan? Alan? Comic Viking. Hey, my right, guys. Cuffy's in the house. From my guy, Flo. What's up, baby? Uh-oh, we got another first-time appearance. Great oh. show tonight. Lady Fantastic in this Christmas. What a mad Spidey. Thanks for coming through, my Finally, man. get on one. I'm, I'm in for so much. <laughs> we got Papa in the house. What's up, man? Thanks for jumping on. Hate is gonna hate, 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 hate. <laughs> What up, what up, what up? It is Tuesday once again, and we are back for another FOC and chill. And we've already got our first guest tonight, Naman. What's up, my man? Oh, let's get this pick this. Naman, hey. what's up, brother? Good to see you, my man. How you doing? Long time no see. On the yeah, screen. it's good to see you, man. I haven't had you and CJ bickering in forever. And we've got a first appearance. Look at this. Another first <laughs> appearance for FOC and chill. They're a very big deal here. So shout out to John <laughs> Comics with Kids, or also known as John's Comics with Trolls, apparently. I'm, I'm, well, you know, I figured CJ would probably show up at some point, so I was prepping. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. We haven't, we haven't seen him. Good to see you, my man. We were talking in DMs today, and uh, you had a you had an interesting thought. Uh, but before we get to that, let me let me jump to uh, the chat here. We've got White Tiger Cool Calm. What up, Ruby? Thanks for coming through, my man, of course. Las Cruces, one of the biggest supporters of comic book YouTube out there. Thank you, Las Cruces. Appreciate you coming through. Seth the Zier. Thank you, Seth. We got Cliff. Never enough, Cliff. What's up? Thanks for coming through. Of course, the John's comics on the panel. We got Eli G, my Instagram homie. What's up? Brian LCS, the man behind the CBC Awards, which will be gearing up here in June. So everybody get ready to be annoyed with me because I will be going back to the well on that one. We've got <laughs> brother, brother John. John. What up, brother John? I'm sad I won't be seeing you at Heroes Con. I cried when you left oh, Heroes Con. Yeah, yeah, it was, it was, it was tough. And we got another hey, first appearance. If you get John's comics with kids for <laughs> there's a chance. There's a chance oh, you can get yourself an old wolf. I told you we're gonna have some trolls oh. here tonight. <laughs> What's up, homie? Thanks for coming through. We also got C Bizzle in the house, couching and slouching. What's up, my brother? Kansas City is representing in the building tonight. We've got brother brother Joe watching. in the house. I'm trying to get Good him up. Trying to get him upstairs. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't bring I didn't bring my 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 drink. I messed up. We got DVH coming in DVH. from across the pond. Always appreciate your company, DVH. Thanks for coming through, my man. 
Kyle is in the house. What's up, Kyle? Been a while since I've seen you, man. Good to see you. Had a recent birthday, man. Hope you had a good one. There's the old wolf. We got my man Frog Brawler in the house. What's up, Frog? Good to see you. Uh oh, we got Gore of it all. Yeah, always appreciates. Uh, I always appreciate Gore's comments, man. He always has absolutely. We all do. Such a great community member. Good to see you, my man. Thanks for coming through. Looks like that is everybody. Let's see. Well, now I think I need to go and make it. Uh oh, <laughs> the alcoholism is spreading. There we go. <laughs> actually, I actually I just finished a bottle of pre-made old fashions. I drained that into. I I just finished that off. So then I'm just going to the straight whiskey. So, so uh, man, I've right. had I've had a thing for old fashions lately, man. They've been wow. they've been tasting yeah. really yeah. really good. And it's, uh, it's when I got drink, it's a simple drink. I got super drunk with Pokan Joe at Planet Comic Con, and there was a lot of old fashions uh, involved. In that. <laughs> super duper drunk. Uh, but John hit me up today on DM and he, uh, DMs today on Instagram, and he mentioned something that I, that I was thinking about, and I was genuinely wondering which one I was, John. But go ahead. Why don't you? You can probably say it better. Well, first, than... I I just want to say it's awesome to be here on the FOC and chill because I I've always said I want to get in on the show but the problem is I do a regular Tuesday show yeah. and it's, it's rare yeah. to have Tuesdays off so I had one off and I was I planned nothing I was like this is this is my FOC and chill night uh so huge, huge and if thanks you, for having me if you love X-Men if you want if you love going through all X-Men stuff um you might want to be with uh, John on Tuesday nights uh, John and Justin at No Good Comics and usually you have a guest uh, that comes in and talks it with you as well. I'm always hanging out with them before I start my show but of course we do run into each other but yeah I do appreciate you coming through but yeah back to the uh oh we got a Long Island man. Oh man everybody's getting let's get fucked up then. <laughs> but you yeah you had said there's like there's there's kind of two vibes in this uh, yeah. community i i kind of had been thinking of, i i somebody shared a youtuber that i was unfamiliar with recently and this person was has a really intense like hate view kind of style and i uh, and it, it it you know i was like you know what i'm not gonna subscribe i clearly this the algorithm did me right by not showing me this guy until now <laughs> and i was like okay maybe there are you know what what is behind any like you know you and i love talking drama and beefs and all this kind of stuff yeah, and laughing about yeah. it all because it's stupid it's comic books and anybody beefing in comic books is just it's it's posing it's fun i, I do love to laugh at it i really love to laugh at it so i started thinking like what is what is behind all this and and my thinking was and i literally legit only shared this with three people and you were one of them it was like like there's these two paths for content creation in my opinion and you whoa in youtube and and you can either have content based on your passions and what you're into and just be all about like producing stuff that you just love that's for you or you can be a brand maker you can be somebody who's creating a brand who is really conscious of what your audience wants and really out there trying to be true to this brand and and i said to you many times like no shame to either route like there's no there's no wrong. To, and you and I had talked about that a ton that like we have friends that d have both paths and travel both paths and there's no wrong to it. And there's, there's no, neither one is a direct route to success. That's, that's the work effort, right? That's a whole Can other you get discussion. To the point, please yeah. Can you get to the point. My, my, my <laughs> point was like, at some point, every channel has to decide what they're doing and they've got to pick a path because you can't walk both. And I think, so they're two uh, very different audiences for each one. Your yeah. audience will shift to meet that change. And whether you make that change consciously or whether it just naturally happens, I think everybody has to like walk their walk. And I think there's no shame to either side, but I think a lot of the beefs in our community are centered yeah. around people really like upset about one or other, the other lane, right? Looking at the other people walking the other path and, bitching about it one way or the other that was just uh, and, and i was thinking about which one i am and you said that i obviously i was the passion one and i i think that's right too but the reason why i was reluctant to be like yeah i'm all passion is because there's a part of me that'd be like if i could make money on social media i mean i'm not <laughs> i'm not against that in any way shape or form where it whereas there is a section of this hobby 
that is hostile to making money in this. <laughs> like my, my my homie Beckerman, the, the comic book collector's collector, is generally hostile to uh, people making money off of this hobby, so much so that he is really uncomfortable with selling anything from his own collection. <laughs> well, and, and here's, um, in my opinion, the easiest way to decide which group you're in is are you making your content just for you or are you conscious and thinking about what your audience wants? Because that's, yeah. that's the, that's the delineation in my opinion, the people that are just doing what they want to do and just enjoying what they're doing and don't really care about their audience. And the audience just shows up. That's the passion group, right? The, the ones that are thinking about their audience, conscious of what the audience wants and trying to craft things for their audience is going to be more of a brand maker. And I think that's fine. There's no problem with either route. But nobody walks both. Nobody walks both. It's I think possible. you can be. I can. Mark, I think I, you can Mark, be. you're a brand maker all the way, and I love bro, your brand. No, no, your no, brand bro. is awesome. No, I know. But he's passion I too, though. I he's passionate for what he makes, but he's very conscious of his audience. He 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 does never talks down to them. He's always giving them what he's oh, conscious don't. of what they want to tune in to see. He's to thinking fair, about what they want. To be fair, I talk down to you in to my comments. Well, that's in that's yeah, one on one for sure. To be fair, I talk down to Marcus whenever I get a chance because he doesn't take it personally and he'll talk fair. down back at me. Fair, but uh, in all sincerity, I, I love every single video I make and it, I have fun doing it. But I'm mad conscious about my audience, not as a whole. So if you watch my <laughs> channel enough, you'll realize that I Easter egg the shit out of my videos with actual community members, and I sit back and wait to see if they notice it. <laughs> sometimes they do sometimes they don't and some people have caught on to it and uh sure. it's a, i know beckerman's very good at catching these things dude, <laughs> when I, no, all right so no one knows this but the last time i on instagram for my at weeks in when i shared the wheel I'm like tonight's the legion giveaway no one knew it but i intentionally typed beckerman loves matina for his name on the wheel that son of a bitch knew i i'm always up to something so we actually we caught it i never expected him to catch it i thought like you know in a one in 80 chance if he wins it'll be it popped up on the screen and i'll get a joke out of it but he caught it in the instagram <laughs> I love it. it was amazing oh look at that uh, hey, oh, he just let anyone on what? i had no idea look at <laughs> john john's comment shows up we get three first you get all these trolls <laughs> We've got my man JP collects who it, I've said it many times and I'll say it before. Sorry, JP. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta put you on a pedestal here. Okay, okay. I think you have the most valuable, most valuable consistent show series going with your six months. Look back. I absolutely love it. I don't ever comment, but I watch it every single time well, because I'm, I am shopping off of that thing every single. I'm like, all right, what was hot six months ago? Is it time for me? Is it time for me to buy this book? Because they're always down six months later. And I think anybody who's new to this hobby, who's trying to come to understand the ebbs and flows of this thing, absolutely, I'm pointing them to your channel in that show. The six months looks back because I needed to know that when I came in. I came back with that '90s mentality of. Buy ten copies. If it shines, it's gold. <laughs> Six <laughs> years later, you will sell each that. one. So the children. I, I, I hey, that's no. It's not the same thing. I don't buy that to get rich. I buy that because I'm just stupid. <laughs> no, for I'm just, it, you I'm know? Just, I will say, I'm, people ask me all the time, and I use that video as much as a reminder to myself as I do for anybody else. It's like I don't really need this. <laughs> it doesn't always no, work, but I, I try to use it to remind myself. <laughs> <laughs> it it offers a perspective that is just so important, man. You know, if if uh, if you're coming in and you think you need that book, then you can wait six months, dude. Exactly. And if you want it six months later, then go get that thing. You know, it's 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 that simple. It's gonna be there. I promise it will. Well, be and, there. and how many times do you watch that video and realize, you know, I really didn't want that book, or I forgot yes. that existed, right? Yeah, yeah. And it's so it's so funny, you know. He's like, I just got a huge pack. I just got a huge pre-order pack from uh, things from another world today. And like, I go through it and I'm like, Hey, you know, most of the books were like stuff I already had different variants and this stuff. And so I'm like, all right. And then I put them up and like, all right, that was fun. You know, it's like, all right, maybe I didn't need all of those covers, but I kind of did still need yeah, them. But... What, what did I miss with the, uh, the, the two different, type of content creators because oh don't make him talk about that thing no, no, he, 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 he's a teacher can, can you sum it up yeah i i just believe that eventually all youtubers pick a path because you can't really walk both of doing things 
that just you care about the things that you love and versus creating a brand. I think it's hard to walk that balance and that most people eventually choose a path. I have a terrible path. I'm in the brand maker. Oh, the door. Oh, I, think, the door. I, I think in general, I think if you have, there's some basics for, and I broke it down simply as saying, that's, like, the, that's it, the correct comment. If, right you, <laughs> if you feel like, you're always real conscious of your audience and, and what that, oh. you know, and make it for them, then that's a brand maker, okay. you know, and that, yeah. that includes having subscriptions, ha you know, things that are for an audience, right. Yeah. Versus, you know, not looking at algorithms, not looking at hashtags, not looking at is like, no, it's just for me. Like I don't, if, if people find it, they find it great. You know, no, yeah. and you that's know, why like, I feel like I again, really there's no yeah, shame have, or shade to yeah, either really side. And neither one is a direct thousand. route to success. It's all about how much work you put in. I have nearly 4,000 subscribers that I don't understand how they're there, but I regularly, <laughs> every week, make videos that I consciously know if I get 100 views, I succeeded. And that's that's my tip, you know, so I'm not chasing views, but there I do have the, the like, a, a decent subscriber base and the members thing, but I feel like my my small little core is, is fun. I think about them. Yeah, I mean, honestly, when you first when you first sent it to me, I would not. I think what you're saying about Mark is true about the brand, but I honestly would not put him in the brand um, section of this. I would put him in the passion section of this because that is his brand, is his passion for comics, particularly the DC comics. That that is his brand. So I would be real because there are other people who are far more focused on algorithm and hashtags. Mark isn't focused on those things. He's yeah, just. I just have. I just have two. It's we are legion, and because that one was just a layup, and fandom happens here. And, and, and but I and also he, don't think there's any negative still, to either route. On his t-shirts, as you can, you know. This well, was I actually think... this was actually designed for me, in a I put it up, and it's not Swamp Thing. In case you were wondering, it's remember that it's not Swamp Thing. Who it's, is it? It's, it's literally not Swamp Thing. That's who it is. <laughs> that's that's the, that's the one thing is trademark. This is not Swamp Thing. Gotcha. I, say, that, I thought it was Tony, but that's okay. <laughs> I feel what you're saying. I, yeah, I think that uh, I think that the middle does exist because, like, I have fun doing the shirts and stuff. Like, that's just fun. I don't do it hoping that I make money off of it. It's just something that's free to do and it's it's there for fun. And uh, but I, I I mean I don't feel like there's a negative to either side. I think no, I'm not saying I, there is. I, I, I legit follow channels that are incredibly well branded and I would throw Rob's fat stacks up there. Yeah. His brand is all around giving to charity and designed around getting people to subscribe to, 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 to monetize all these. He's doing a great job of creating a Rob's fat stacks brand. He's got his intro yeah. that he's got. He's got, it's a very tight product. But I would also with a knowing, knowing Rob really, really well and that brand really, really well, I will 100% tell you with absolute certainty that there's not one ounce of doing that that isn't passion that's work for him or for me yeah. or for DJ. Like if it was, if it was, I promise you the three of us, not even just one of the three, all three of us would have found someone else to fill in for us. I think you're I'm implying that like that. the people that are making a brand aren't enjoying what they're doing. No, I'm and not that's, saying that's that not at quite all, what I'm saying. I'm, I'm pointing out the difference. Well, so there's, actually three, there's actually three lanes on this. There's, mm -hmm. there's people who, with passion there's people who are doing for the well, brand and there's something in the middle that no. kind of like hits. That's my point. Yeah, I don't believe that that I'm lane exists. I'm, the, I'm most, the most important thing. Journals, and I'm just using the channel to learn stuff, but uh, I'm just, it's my journal. That's it. I don't, I don't if I have passion so, for it, you know, just so place just to put remember. my videos on. That's it. I, just a reminder to you, John, only a Sith deals in absolute. <laughs> <laughs> I will then say, call I me John Darth Jameson. Described it for <laughs> what he's saying. He's not saying that the people that have a brand can't have passion for it, but they're they're trying to achieve something for the audience. Yeah, and then the you other just, side you, is you have to, they end up leaning one way. You, you have yeah. both, but you yeah. you and but you lean one way more than the other. I, I the think reality. passion is the wrong word. You can have a passion for doing your brand work and doing stuff for the audience and doing like that. I think that's the wrong word. I think there's there's a different perspective of like, this is just for me. And I don't care if anybody watches, like yeah. I'm going to do what I want versus yeah, I'm going to build something for an audience that I'm going to have a message and a thing that's directly for them. You can have yeah. passion on both sides. It's just that like, there is two lanes there of, I'm just going to make what I want. If people watch yeah. it, great. Yeah, I definitely, I definitely just make what I want. I know that. 
are you saying that one side is is because you enjoy it and the other side is because of just like want to make buck on it? <laughs> That's definitely not what I'm saying. Hey, but you implied that when you used the word passion as opposed to a different I think that the people like Nauman, it was a, it is a great example. He's doing he's just doing the stuff that he has he, he's not thinking about his audience at all. He's he's making the stuff that he wants to make and it's his journal and it's his it's not it's not about like what is my audience going to, what's going to, what's going to help my channel grow up? You know, what's going to create a nomin brand. Right. And he's not interested in that. And that's, that's the route he's traveling. Yeah. I don't even have a logo. So there you go. I mean, <laughs> yeah. That is your brand JP. You're yeah. mysterious. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So what's the purpose of the brand? <laughs> what is the purpose of the brand? Yeah. Is to create a consistency of vision for the, your product, right? So, like, you know, for whether that's merchandise, whether that's YouTube, whether that's social media, creating a consistency of product so that when people tune in, they know what they're getting from the okay. Legion of Comics, from the Reggie Collects, from the whatever. Th there's a there's a brand that creates awareness for an audience. Yeah, that's super fair. Like, I try to so like it's not that I try to, but I would like to think that like people associate my channel. That Absolutely. know me with, with DC stuff. Like, if you're curious about DC, like, oh, I know that that Legion of Comics guy, he reads a lot of DC and has a DC stream. So yeah, that makes sense. And that, and I would say you're downplaying yourself to say you you, you haven't thought a lot about it because it, it's clearly hard work and intentional. Oh, yeah. and you are you are putting in the time and well, you are you are putting in the work to you, create this incredible it, brand. Man, you've 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 known me since year one. Early on in year <laughs> one, I've been in your chat. Nothing I did took a lot of thought at all. <laughs> Listen, no, listen, hear me out. It all really happened very organically because I'm not like techno savvy. I'm not like uh set up this savvy, you know what I mean? Like it was difficult to even even to figure out how to upload images. Like when it sure. came to doing like the emojis that come with that, I had to have help with that. Like sure. me and Tyler we sat up here, yeah. like so all of it when you look back on it, it looks like a lot of stuff, a lot of work, a lot of thought. It's not. I don't have time for a lot of thought for YouTube. I don't. Like I was just, I was just voicemail talking to my buddy for an hour while I'm talking to him. I'm working on saving photos for my my books. I'm excited about. You know, I have a top ten list coming out, John, that includes a Dune comic, a Power Rangers comic, an Avatar comic, and a Dick Tracy comic. You think I'm making this for unsubscribe? Someone else? Unsubscribe. Yeah. You you lost me <laughs> at Power is, Rangers. You think unsubscribe. this is for my audience? No. <laughs> What's up, Carrie? I haven't seen Carrie hey. in so long. How you doing, girl? And Cliff, we haven't let Carrie or Cliff talk. What's up, Carrie? What's up, Cliff? Well, I, I've never seen on, Cliff be this quiet for this long. I know you okay, know so he's the first thing I've seen the right commentary now. Commentary is in the chats. You know. <laughs> Amanda Waller, and he'll start yapping. That would, that would require John to like cease talking for like thirty. Seconds. I keep getting asked questions. I, I, here's the thing: I sent this to Marcus because I knew that it would light a fire. I was like, let's just yeah. hear Marcus's thoughts on this. I so, thought, like, so, you know, bathing in this. Mark would Mark would make the best hate sex because he would just be plowing me and then scream Amanda Waller, and then you know, <laughs> oh wow, oh, you're you're closing closing the door. Door. You missed this step. Door. You missed the step. I would grab door. your hair with two hands. That's the first I thing. I want Mark, Mark Marcus. I want I want Marcus to to like save this date timestamp of twenty three seconds. I just love that the whole time Cliff was talking, Mark was going, "Yep, yep, yeah, yep. Marcus, you right. I, I'm saying, why did you close the back door? He's coming in the back door, <laughs> and you know, and you know what my hate move would be for Mark to show up for sex just as a shroud. That would be my move. <laughs> oh, because it'd be like a stranger because no one would recognize him. Exactly. Exactly. That'd be perfect. You know, or maybe I'll show up as Moonlight Shroud. That way you almost know what's going on. No one likes the Shroud. Uh, <laughs> so, Marcus, what out. would you say your brand is right now, given this discussion? <laughs> <laughs> well, I was kind of I because I because honestly, when he first said it to me, I was not thinking about it the same way that he was thinking about it because the way that I was thinking about it, I would not put Mark in the brand side of it. I just and I think the difference really is that like Mark, it, I put Mark on the passion side, but he's successful, and so that passion sure. has turned into a brand thing. And I would say the same as like Comics Explained or or Pop Culture Philosophers; they're in the same boat there. For me, though, when you first said it, I was thinking about there are some comic channels who are about the comics and there's some comic channels who are about the channel. Interesting. You know what I mean? 
And that's how I was separating them. It's sure. like, are they passionate about their channel or are they passionate about the comics and they're putting it on their channel? Mm, interesting. And oh, that's yeah. why I would, that's, that's why another I way to look at those lanes. I suppose it's stuff. a different delineation, yeah. but it's interesting because the people who are just passionate about their channel, I'm not as much like I come for the passionate about the books, whether sure. I'm into the books you're into or not. I come for the passion about comic books. That's right. Uh, so that's what that's what draws I'm with me. Phil. I'm with Phil's treehouse. That's that's, that's right. <laughs> Hold on. We're behind on. I missed it. I'm <laughs> I don't even see where yeah. Phil's at. Did I miss yeah, Phil? How far back? The, is Kro it? the Kroger ladies. The yeah, Kroger, the Kroger ladies. ladies. Yeah. Always, Phil, I appreciate there. you so much. <laughs> and yeah, but. I think I, as far as like I am conscious of my viewer for sure. And that's a big reason why I don't make videos anymore is because I don't feel like I've come up with something that makes me passionate and makes me believe that other people will want to see. It. I just I haven't come up with it. Like sure. most of the things that comic but book channels that do, would I'm not as to much you interested thinking in. as, as a brand and not thinking about this is what I want to do on my channel. Exactly. So I am I in that way. I'm definitely more brand focused, even though I don't really have a brand. I'm I'm definitely I definitely want to do this to entertain people. And I don't do it for the sake of doing it. I want to do it because it's good and people are enjoying it. It's definitely sure. What, so yeah. so where's where's the difference between doing it as an overall brand, but doing it also to promote something else? Because the, do those two things go hand in hand or or what? It could. I mean, well, K-pop K-pop's a great example of somebody whose brand is built around promoting other people, right? Like her her shows are a ton about Kickstarters and about up and coming artists and writers. And that's that's she's built her channel, I think, really effectively around that. Yes. Because that's what that's what a lot of writers do is they they have the 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 channel, right? Mm -hmm. And they talk about everything they like, but they also talk about their their work that they're working on. It's because sure. when they sit there and they talk about the stuff that they're passionate about or whatever like that, or stuff that they're doing um, on top of actually talking about the work, they're doing it because they want people to relate to them. Sure. And if you relate to somebody, you're more apt to go out and buy their product. There's also the aspect of just that modern, the modern day application of if you apply that to pros like writers, artists, there's a lot of them like Daniel Warren Johnson, David Finch. You have a lot of pros like Mark Miller that have channels where they do stuff because just like us, they have they have friends they want to talk to. And it's a great way to do it and interact with their fan mm -hmm. base. They don't have to wait to go to a convention. Daniel Warren Johnson goes live every week oh. and talks to his fans while he works. You know, like he's just he's working the dude, despite right. the fact that he, he's literally on the clock yeah. working, you know, and, it's just, and plus, just and, plus he's, and plus he's also, he's also probably sitting there saying, Hey, you know, in, in case you've been living under a rock, I'm doing this lately, you right. know? Um, so go check it out at your local comic book shop. Well, you know, that's kind of like what I do. Like I'm just sitting there and I'm talking about what I'm doing and what I'm writing. And then you guys also get to find out what I like as well. And, but the thing is, especially when it comes to like publishing as a whole, um, and definitely when it comes to comic books is when you go into the publishing industry, you're finding out that the, the publishing companies are really going after and really, you know, putting forth and, uh, um, marketing dollars and stuff for the big names, but you might get published by a publishing company and they won't do anything to promote you. So mm. you end up having to promote yourself. Yeah, sure. It costs, it costs money to promote people. They can't invest in something. They're not going to get back. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And if you can build the brand and the, the platform, because that's what, if you look at mass media now, what you're seeing is TV stars are trying to build their own platforms. You see Stephen A. Smith and they're all following Pat McAfee really, as they saw Pat McAfee build his own brand on YouTube to where Pat McAfee doesn't work for ESPN. He leases his business, his property to ESPN to where if he lost his job at ESPN, it would not make him any less relevant than he already is. And so if you're able to, that's what, every, that's what everybody's moving to is building their own platform and building off themselves so that they're not making money from someone else. They're making money for themselves. So sure. I'm all yeah, for it. Also, if you can build a platform, you also have to wonder why people have to do that. 
I don't think they have to do that. I think that's a luxury if you're capable of doing it. Yeah, it ain't a, it's not it ain't a have to thing. If you're that good, you know, that's like that's like being a it's an opportunity, a, right? Yeah, it's being yeah. a free agent that everybody wants. You don't have to well, I, but I, you're that desirable. But I think to Carrie's point, I think it's also the proliferation, right? Where where how many sports channel networks can you find, you know, at this point? How many comic book YouTubes can, at, at some point eight. what you need to do is stand out and branding helps you stand out, right? Branding helps you be different than all the other options out there. And so that branding. I know when I go to Legion or Reggie or whatever, I know what I'm getting and that's the product that I'm after is not, you know, all the other stuff. I want that product. Well, John, if you go to Reggie's game, and and crit I'm not going to get a lot. No, I'm not going to get a lot yeah, these he days. He quit like a month ago, didn't he? He did. Yeah. He did. Yeah. Okay. And, I'm and wearing I'm wearing his shirt to be, to, you know in solidarity. Branding <laughs> branding could be something as simple as you're known for something. You're known for always providing something. Yeah. And um, it's, I mean, it's like consciousness, like, right? You're being conscious of what it is you want to represent and then creating mm -hmm. a consistency that is that, a, that, a, that an audience can then Sometimes count on. Sometimes it can happen more organically than that. You just naturally, because of that passion, um, gravitate towards something. Like Mark is known for doing a lot of stuff with DC. I'm known for doing a lot of stuff involving DC when I do it. And poems. And poems and, and writing, yes. But like the... If I'm talking comics, I, I I mean there are people in in the space that were that always were like carry DC, you know, um, and John X Men. Yeah, so yeah, really. <laughs> John Wing. Oh, I mean, uh, <laughs> JP Nightwing. But it's it's like we're we're talking about what we we like the best, right? But we're becoming known for it, and that's where. That's where passion leads into branding, even if it's accidental. Yeah, yeah and I'm gonna sign it to you. And I made that point to to Marcus. I, I hope uh, the idea that this this will happen. I think either intentionally or accidentally, people will veer and lean one way or the other over time because that that's either a conscious like effort to be a consistent brand or a constant effort to not care about that. You know. Now I'm fascinated. Where the hell does everybody think I fall on the spectrum? <laughs> that's the what spectrum? I want to know. Not on the spectrum. You know you're a I'm rainbow, my friend. On the spectrum of community or brand or in between or what the hell? You definitely. I think they. You're, 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 I am the spectrum. Oh, you're a child. You know, I'll, go, <laughs> I'll go back to this comment from Damien, which I thought was really accurate. I'm passionate about comics. Uh, but I, I think it's fair to say that I am more passionate about this community and this thing that I found online when I came back to comics. I think that's absolutely true. That's why you see me get so excited about things like the CBC Awards and comics carrying cancer, because these are community driven things. And this is this is the most amazing thing that I love. Like when I talked to DMs and John in DMs with John today, that's one of the things I said is like more than anything, it's about the people that I've met across the world. That's. At this three and a half years into it now, more than anything, this is what I'm passionate about. So I think Damien nails me uh, to a T with that statement. And I, and I, his other comment, well, I don't know that you need to be selling something to be brand conscious. Like, I don't know that that's a necessity. I think it, it might come naturally with being brand conscious, but I don't know that it is a necessity by any means. What? Other shit. Is this a first appearance? I'm trying to think. I think it is Flash a first appearance. to the rescue. <laughs> Uh, maybe first full appearance. I think I snuck in like two minutes once, so uh, that, could be a, that, that could be a cameo. So this is first full. All <laughs> Transformer right, branded TJ has entered the chat. Yes. And I'm I'm assuming you got. Have you do you have a thought about the subject? Um, I just got here. What's what's the subject? Oh, okay, uh, no, we're no, just talking. Don't search out again. No. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna mute myself at this point. <laughs> no, just John had a point about how there's people who make videos. Their channel's more about themselves and in their own like it's they do it for themselves, whereas others become a brand and they have their brand conscious and they do it for viewers and and trying to build something. And I don't know and, that it's necessarily it, for viewers because both of them can be gold oriented on a viewership the but, point is but, tj john said there is no in between you're one or the other uh, right. you, really, you, you definitely lane. have to pick a lane i think or or it picks itself for you uh no oh. cj we are not live you should not in any way join us you are we are not <laughs> this is this is all a replay <laughs> well, you're in the so, matrix so john are you saying like okay you can only have two lanes so would reggie 
be the extreme. It, Reggie is one of the most brand conscious people I've ever met. And if you don't think that's true, then you, you have never spoken to him. The guy is He's completely definitely. aware of his, uh, his image and his identity and he works really hard and impressively. So to be consistent. So he's, so, he's so, so if you don't, side, I couldn't hear that. What is he extreme to one side? He definitely he leans definitely heavy brand heavy. all the way. Heavy also, brand. also, um, the the other thing you have to think of is some of these people have gotten to the point where they can do this based on their views with AdSense and Google AdSense with their sponsorships sure. and from people just buying their stuff. Right. Okay. So is Reggie to the point where he can do this and not have to do another job? No. No. no I, I think it's me. really hard for people to get to that place in YouTube because the money generated is almost nothing, even when you're yeah. at the 100,000 subscriber level. I mean, you talk to Perry and he's just hit 100K. Huge shout out to Perry. He is not brand conscious at all. Um, <laughs> he hit 100K, but he's not generating enough to barely cover buying comics every once in a while. It's not money making. It's 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 YouTube. It's really well, that you, there. but That's I think most of the time, most of the time, hundred K and not be able to pull that. I was gonna I say mean, I've been on uh, with Perry, and Perry has pulled in some tremendous numbers. He's told me because big numbers. Yeah, yeah, it doesn't necessarily yeah, equate had, to I money. Mean payday numbers. I don't mean like trivial. I mean he's had some payday numbers, and you're right. It doesn't happen all the time. No. But shit. Throw me a payday four times a year, right? <laughs> right. I mean, I, 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 I'm sitting here. I work, I work a, a nine to five job, quite literally. Okay, um, and thankfully, I get to work from home, so I don't have to worry about a commute or anything. But I work nine to five. I get off work. I go and I make dinner with my boyfriend. We maybe do something, and then I'm sitting right back at this desk writing. Like I came on here because I hit a little writer's block, man. Like, sure. I, I mean, yesterday, like I, I wrote tw just over 2,600 words on my novel and I trying to be consistent with that. But then it's one of those things where it's like, OK, if I want to try and write this at some consistency, like I'm spending most of my time right here at this desk. And I and, and it, it's just if I could earn the same amount of money doing something like this that would I mean, be so much better than raise like, your hand I, if anybody on this panel feels different yeah, I, think isn't that everybody, everybody I think everybody yeah. would happily no, make I'd, youtube I'd make, if they, could, if they could be consistently YouTube. doing it and make the same amount of money they're spending doing other yeah. stuff it's not enough to not enough to do anything with other and put back into the channel right but i get it i get a youtube paycheck every single month but i just and you blow it all on hookers and hats right uh, close. I blow it all on buying giveaways. Flamingo shirts. That, that's what I fund. That's what I fund all the giveaways. Uh -oh. with. That's why. That's why I do so many giveaways. Because if people watching my content or supporting it creates revenue, that's their money. You know, I yeah. I, I work mm -hmm. a, a six to six all week long, and I do all kinds of other stuff. And like the merchandise, that money goes back into it, which isn't a lot at all. You know, I think of cash out on that, like. Only a couple times. I just let but I think there. also that's that's you being very conscious of your audience and wanting them to feel like when they turn up, they're getting something for that time. And that's, well, I just that, think it's fun, a, dude. You know how fun it is to give stuff away? Like, and I talked yeah. about it. I talked about it today because I got to do my DC Day stream for the first time in two weeks. I'm like, it's time to give away new DC books, which I love doing because not as many people get DC books as they do Marvel. And if winning some free ones gets your foot in the door and you read something, you're like, oh shit, that's just yeah. that's just spreading the love of the hobby, really. You know what I mean? Best book on the fucking racks. Not my favorite. I love book. that. I love that. Book. I got my DC. I, I got my that. DC books this week for sure. God damn that Wonder oh, Woman. Sorry. Book I was is... just yeah. I knew Mark. I knew Mark. This would get Mark. I up. I haven't gotten it yet, but I I hope it. I hope it. Is you got the same cover as me, Mark. Yes. Yeah, I get A covers because uh, they're a dollar cheaper. Yeah, I got yeah. I got my DC books. One of my collecting ticks that I've I developed is that I. If I'm collecting a series, I have to have all the A-Covers. I can't skip Yeah, the trade covers. dresses match. Do they? Yeah, the trade dresses match on A's. You know, with the variants, you get, like, the minimal oh, trade Oh, yeah, dresses. yeah, for sure. This was, this was a 10 out of 10. Like, blue my Jeremy Adams was meant to write Flash. The Titans. My John Stewart. That's a cover. Look at the, yeah. the earth in the middle of the logo. Yeah. 
House of Brainiac. Jeez. Oh gosh. CJ love- is threatening all of us to come on. Just no, to- please. We need one more person to join the stream and then he can't join, right? That's that's the mm-hmm. that's the max we've hit. <laughs> yeah, I did that too for uh for a long time, Durs, until until it generated money. You know what's funny is I do all these giveaways and then I have to file taxes and then I have to like pay for the giveaways all over again. <laughs> right. <Yeah. laughs> I didn't take that into consideration. I mean, I know what's going to happen. I, I got to imagine how hard that is on Rob with all this giveaway. No, because he's, he's giving away everything. I mean, Rob, Rob's able to. American Cancer he's Society. writing it all off. Yeah, one hundred percent. Like I don't, I don't, I, I don't really have my YouTube channel LLC. I don't have it. I don't do any tax breaks on it, which is probably dumb and lazy on my part. I I should have done the same long ago, but I'm too lazy to. But yeah, I was. I, I would, I was Spend I was about to say to yeah, you if can you're... write off all your comics, you can write off all your giveaways. Oh crap, I'm the center square. This is that da- da- dangerous. Yeah, yeah. If, if you um if you if you're using your giveaways as part of your channel, I feel like I feel like that's if nothing else, that reduces the amount of income for your channel. Sure. I can literally right. write you know, off you can literally write right. off your new comic book day books if but if you... you're you improve your using on your channel, which it's video yeah. evidence. Really? So. Right. Yeah. If right, you, if you, Martin, 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 I just hadn't done it yet. You can set, <laughs> you set yourself up as a DBA, even even as a DBA, yep. and then when you file taxes, you add a Schedule C, and off you go. Yep. You know, and and it's funny. Or you could be paranoid. So a friend of mine just became monetized, and we I had to talk him into being monetized, and he was really scared of taxes. I said, if you're so scared of the taxes, right? Have the money go to one account. Don't touch that account all year since you don't miss the money because we had that talk. I said, at the end of the year, then you worry about paying the taxes on it and off you go. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> YouTube with accounting uh, nightmare. <laughs> I just don't even you know. No, you, you can all you, John. blame John for CJ not getting on. Yep. <laughs> donate <laughs> donate that- to my PayPal. Now, the comic, I was thankful for this. So. I, I I knew sooner or later I would find my tribe. YouTube comic accounting is my tribe. I'm glad you, <laughs> glad oh you guys God. are here. Is it, is it really? We've got the budget collector right here. <laughs> there you go, okay. Phil. He, he's right oh, there. Can I write off the, the home collector? I'm writing off the home studio. I'm writing off the home studio. These PVC fees are going to have to get written off. <laughs> I need to do. I keep having to pay taxes every year, so I need to uh, figure some of this stuff out, man. I Maybe pay too because my wife keeps changing job positions and stuff, and getting raises and yeah, I just, yeah. locations. Watching YouTube just costs oh. me money because I listen to people like oh. Cliff, and then I buy books like this because I'm like, yeah. listening as you to Cliff. Know, that, that was a good choice. That was. I don't know if that counts. There's <laughs> two of these. There were two of these. Yes. This is volume two. I'm, I'm like, I've been exercising with them. I am a good person and... for introducing that to you. And your arms will love you for it too, baby. I've Those never heard so of this expensive. character ever. And then it's amazing. Check, and then there Cliff you go. Like, there you go. Somebody needs to do exercising with comics. Wait a minute. And, what, John, why, 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 <laughs> I, I need John. to do exercising with comics. We all do. Right? Why, why are you picking up that? Starman. I don't understand. Cause, why so I was I was on a stream with Cliff and he mentioned Starman and I said I'd never even heard of this character. And he's like, You've never heard of Starman? How have you possibly missed this character, I've James Robinson? Never. You gotta pick it up. And I went on and I saw 42. I saw the two compendiums on sale, and I was like, All right, I'll just buy both. And I, I bought two. I just uh, because of Cliff. He, Please he, tell me you at least started reading the first influenced one. me. No, it, I gotta Blame finish Cliff. the Sandman omnibus I'm reading. Are you gonna oh read about his father? Is anybody else's TBRs like out of control right now? Yes, Did you say right TBR? TBR, to be reds. Oh, like, oh, that's a new one for me. No, mine's always insane. Yeah, Mark, my, yeah, my, 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 mine's is growing like by the my, mine is growing right now. How many? I don't know how many. That's not the hardcovers. That's just the. <laughs> I, I have an insane TBR right now. And I've got about like, 11 single issues to read to be caught up, but then I've got too. a ton of collected editions. That's yeah. mine because I bought them today. I uh, I was behind for Master's Week, but uh, I, I was feeling like delusional one night, so I stayed up way, way <laughs> late and just binge read everything. And uh, I do have these that I picked up. Nice. I have a ton of trades. My so trade package. Pretty I'm going to be rereading a special one coming up, actually. I, I, I have about seven, but I can read Ooh, those. Oh, crow, all nice. Taco Bell. Um, mm. <laughs> oh my. This, is, this is one that's going to be reread very soon. So 
Tony's wife just wants him to drink enough that he stops buying comics. <laughs> Challenge accepted. <laughs> I'm speechless on that one. I'm just going to be on it. I'm going to save so, Starman, I think, for summer. I think that's probably going to be a summer reading book. So here's the question. How, how long did FOC make it before y'all detoured yeah. today? None. None. Not even I never even. even you know, I don't think he even said those on. words by except way, to say welcome. Way, I want you to know, every time I've been here, I've been completely misled. It's FOC and chill. I thought I would give someone head while they do the FOC, but that is not happening. I feel very <laughs> Cliff, I'm oh texting my. you my address right now. Um. That that's that's FOC after dark. I think <laughs> that, that's that's, that's think, another show. Listen, listen. I didn't start it. I could do a midnight program. It's all right. Can we, can, can we all get together and find Cliff somebody to get off the sexual energy that he's like? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, we do oh, need please, to get Cliff laid. Just clone one of the Macs. I'll take Hero, Heroes Con is happening. Don't worry. Yeah, he's you know all the yeah he you brought that up. You going to Heroes Con? Well, I'm going to turn on all the apps when I as soon as we wrap up day one. <laughs> oh, turn on all the apps. Growler, oh, Crowler. Uh, it just blowies. Snickies. I gotta write all these down. I, I'm <laughs> learning a lot of stuff here. Oh, so, Cliff, Cliff, do you ever go left or you always go right? No, I don't. I don't usually use those apps. I, I like are we talking about swiping? Okay, try good. to figure somebody out before you actually are swiping because those oh. swipers are are, are are MFers too. Not showing swiper, up. no swiping. Yeah, swiper, no swiping. No, <laughs> I, I really am not a fan of Grinder and Tinder and that swipe crap. I don't. I don't like. It. Although people are savage on Grinder, Grinder, like, like Grinder, is just terrible. Like gays, it's like, yeah, I'll be, I'll risk serial killers for sex at two a.m. Like it is wild, man. <laughs> My Hey, everybody's got a everybody's got a type, you know. I mean, yep. Yep. <laughs> I'm just saying, I'm just saying, my, just saying, my, everybody's my kind of community, type my kind community, of we wild, we wild. And then <laughs> the other day, I'm in the the other day, I'm in the comic shop, and my friend who owns the shop said something to the effect of like, like Cliff, like you know, those things don't happen outside of porn. And I was like, get the hell out of here! I was like, gay people invented all that shit. She invented porn. We invented porn. We are the first. You use this already, Cliff. You already used this. Already. Welcome to Fire I Island. Know that. You already used that. You already used that. <laughs> you already used that. <laughs> Wait, when did I use it? And remind me. You did it. I think you did it on on, on that show. You guys don't do trust all. the guy Yo, who's been like day drinking up, since like, noon. Already, he's pouring the Crown Royale. It's making me so excited. He's already no. finished off a couple no, other I'm, bottles. He said. That's you. like bottle three on a Tuesday. <laughs> There's, there's a handle on that bottle there. So yeah. it just, yeah, it's you know it so much week easier week for him. That's my oh, weekly trip. 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 Don't sleep with one eye open. Just sleep face down because then I'll be, I, I will not, hey, I'm not. All I know is my one eye is, is brown. So I don't know. You know, <laughs> if you're asleep, all you men, you're only in danger if you're Which sleeping I, face the down. Eye, the that's one eye will you're in danger. Oh my! Oh my goodness, <laughs> Lord! FOC and oh. Jill just took a detour. Oh <laughs> my goodness! Like, this is my probably my, my first time and probably my last time I am on the show. <laughs> <laughs> Are you kidding? I, you, I, I you, think we're heading towards Springer, Dormadal. I think this is heading more towards Springer than. Phil Donahue. No, y'all don't remember the old Donahue's hit. They got cr Donahue was not afraid to get down. Sorry, All right, Jesse. he turned Philadelphia into a madhouse. Let's let's call it all the way back for the Geraldo Rivera talk show. Yeah. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Carrie, we need to use some red Sally Jesse with Raphael glass. I used to have red red frames actually. It was, nice. It's, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So. Oh, oh my god, Sally Jesse Raphael. Let's not even get me started on Sally Jesse. <laughs> <laughs> all right. That woman was changing lives. I'm trying to tell I was trying what to say that. What about Jenny Jones, guys, and Ricky Lake? Oh, Jenny Jones Lake. Is tragic, yeah. though. Yeah. Tragic. Wait a minute. Oh, Mama Kate. Mama Kate, how you doing? Hey, what hey, was that guy? Downey. The Downey, the big mouth. What was his name? What guy? Um, his name is Downey. Big, Robert? Big, Morton Robert Downey, Downey Jr. Jr. Morton Downey Jr. Was it no? Was it Morton? Downey? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It was Morton Downey Jr. Because it wasn't his dad. The the Evocateur Morton Downey Jr. 
It was uh, Martin Downey Jr., right? It was with yeah. the with the big, the big teeth and the lab and yeah. the, the mouth for the logo on his branding. Highlight was on top of that. Yeah, that's like late eighties, early nineties. Some of the wildest TV ever. Oh, he he was wild. That, <laughs> that was, was wild TV. He blow a cigarette in your face, call you a commie, and then wait <laughs> on the thing. That's what he wanted. Like that's when uh, that's when Jesse Jackson, who was it, got in a fist fight on on stage, and they they called out that they're going to set up the boxing match and stuff, and mm. and the other guy didn't, and the other guy backed out. Jesse was all for it. That's funny. <laughs> like he had, he had a plan on on one episode, and he tried to fist fight all of them himself. Like oh, he, 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 he had Al Sharpton on there. He had was it Al, Al, Al Sharpton, not not Jesse. It was Al Sharpton. Oh my goodness! Yeah. Oh my goodness! And Al was heavy back then too. How do I remember yeah. this? I think I was like three. I don't know. Was it was it all stage like it, Andy Kaufman like? This is, one step this away is the original wrestling. Jerry Springer. None of this shit was staged. He would get him up there and he would instigate. Like yeah. that was his that was his brand. His oh, brand yeah. like his crowd standing up throwing popcorn. Poke like, him with a stick, even, right? They didn't even sell popcorn, <laughs> but they're still throwing popcorn. Like where they got it, no one fucking knows. Yeah, this is we, this all before, before the original this all Jerry before Springer. Everything. This was this was like the style oh, of, the, of that, that stuff. We could definitely play Hollywood Square. Right? I'm still Center Square, John. I don't know what you want me to do. Square. <laughs> Better watch it. I I clearly stirred the pot enough tonight for Marcus. <laughs> Marcus didn't even get I like one word in before John was like. Sure. Oh, Marcus is That's why I said it to Marcus. I was like, let's, voice in like 10 minutes. let's stir Marcus up first thing in the morning. <laughs> well, that's the fun thing about this show is that you, you never know where we're going to go. Is this your brand, Marcus? About. This is Marcus's I get, brand. Yeah. brand you're going for. This is I, brand. You know, I want my brand to be this community and just loving this community and just enjoy, yes. enjoying that. What did you fuck there, that up? There's a place. <laughs> I do have. Go, to, <laughs> go ahead, JP. I just want to say I love how John, who's John's comics with kids, although they never show up anymore, has the <laughs> most foul mouth on everyone else's channel. <laughs> but never cuts a deal. It's like yeah, um, um that's what, what, that's what? branding, to, uh, JP. <laughs> that's he, branding. He this is a twenty-year-old scotch. No, you know what that is? Ooh. That's Bob Saget. He's pulling a Bob Saget. I was, I was about like to Full bring House up Bob Saget. Like He's our generation's guy. Bob Saget. I was about true. to bring up and, Bob and, Saget. And then, and then all of a sudden, and then all of a sudden, you get into a stand-up routine. He's talking about doing coke on hookers. You know, like. Yeah, like, like, yeah <laughs> I heard wait, that. I mean, we we do have we dad from Full House or what? we we do have a Full House. Yeah, know what up, I remember Dave Coulier, who yeah. was on the show yeah. with him. I didn't know he had a he had a show. And here recently on his show, he was talking about losing his brother. Yeah. And when Bob called him and left him a message, and I just this week he played that voicemail on his show, and it absolutely broke it my heart. Yeah, like on so many levels, I'm like, oh my god. One long ago, I went back and watched the Comedy Central roast of Bob Saget. I went through all of the roasts on Paramount. They're they're so good. Nice. They're wild, wild as shit. Yo, his, Bob the his, Mad was, Man. his was really lovely because because the people were really funny, number one, but they all really loved him, you know? Like some of the other roasts, like some people straight up hate the person they're roasting and they just go for it. And not just but that. Like, some of the people on the day just don't even know him. They're just there as like a comedy yeah. layup. Yeah, know, there's bro. that too. Like, where they're like, like, oh, Shatner, this is an opportunity. Uh -oh. Oh, Shatner, uh -oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> John did not <laughs> say <save> us. <laughs> All right, look at me. He gave you ample time. Look at me, all right? I'm going to tell you something. Everybody, everybody that does these videos have an agenda. I guarantee you, You're including CJ. Late, CJ. You're, you're, what? You're including Mr. Hansy. Late. We're talking about hookers. <laughs> I, 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 gave, I gave Something you all a chance. Hey, hey, well, CJ, I could talk hookers. CJ, CJ yeah. do you have a double chin? You if you want to talk hookers, I could talk hookers. Yes. Yeah, hookers. I have no problem with that. Go. Go. Now. Start. <laughs> I prefer that it's a subject. Who asked me about a double chin? You. I did. You look like you have a double chin. One of the bald guys. <laughs> you, you look like you have an ass for a face. What the fuck? I do <laughs> have an ass for a face. I, I, it's not about me. This He's is worked hard you. on that. So you have a double chin. Well, how'd you see my double chin? 
because you because you le- you le- le- leaned into the mic and you, it, it, you you like it roosted your your the chicken jowls were hanging over the over over the mic. <laughs> Tony, what are you doing? Well, he's poking, he's poking the bear right now. Wow. He's absolutely <laughs> poking the bear right now. Even I'm sitting here like, wow, you, wow. You, <laughs> you have double chin envy, my friend. That's what I, I do. Very, I do. I envy. don't. I'm like... That's he has I'm double like... chin envy. Is it chin envy? How you got that fur on your face? No, not Leland Crotch. <laughs> yes, no, you got Leland Crotch sorry. now that you got the hands up there. CJ, yeah, I'm only busting here because you never show your face. I saw a little bit of the chin. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull that out. <laughs> I will tell you something. I'm a very handsome man. I don't show my face because I don't want you to feel bad when I come on screen with you. That's why I'm a no, I, I know actually, 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 yeah. if and you, you're that good I've, looking. I've seen him physically, so you may, you guys want to ask me? Yes, I was gonna say he was he was on the Becker show or uh, uh, Bleacher the not too long ago. What? How did he get on? Are you? Are you uh, confident enough for me to judge your look? I, I definitely want to hear Naman grade CJ's on, looks. Oh, on right. several, <laughs> I want several criteria. Well, that's not fair. I'm not Korean. He's not. I want this. I want this Korean. to legitimately be the the rest of our show tonight. Is just <laughs> Naman grading CJ's appearance on many factors. <laughs> How the hell did he get on here? I didn't even see him. <laughs> like, He's been on from the beginning. <laughs> So, you, you want me to grade you? Yes. yes. Did CJ say yes? I want to hear CJ say yes. No. He said yes. I don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't need your validation. I know how great I am. <laughs> I just want to know how confident he is because uh, he's CJ, not confident at all. all. He's not. <laughs> Horrified. I'm amazing. What up, Drag? You want me to grade you or not, CJ? Up to you. I, 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 yes, yes so me. Me. How, how, how many chins does he have? How many chins does he have? I, I saw one, I saw at least two. So there. Depends on if he's looking up, then he got none. If he's looking down, he got about three. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna unstop my camera now because that was just amazing. I'm here for Naman now. <laughs> well, he's, he's totally mine, so you know. I guess I'm uh, sure. I guess the people no, like no punches. <laughs> well, there you have it. <laughs> the highlight of my my month. Listen, <laughs> oh, I have okay. my hair. I I have a very nice. Hey, growing hair is not a contest, CJ. I, well, I'm sorry. I'm just stating what I have. You can't count the ear hair, though. I'm 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 a little <laughs> I'm above <laughs> average. You don't have ear hairs. <laughs> The women the never women tell never. me there's a problem. There's more than one. <laughs> well, what have gotten out of control, Callie? It's true. Nobody prostitutes don't say anything bad about you. So. No, nobody's saying bad anything about him. <laughs> we can't see him. How can we? How can we judge him? He's got nice nails, though. I was gonna say he's lovely cuticles. Doesn't yeah, he? I take care of myself. That's why I, you, know, you have to. You have to love yourself. That's the thing. I'm, I'm assuming this question is for you, CJ. Do do the women talk to you? I don't care what they say. <laughs> they, can, they talk. Adam is a great troll tonight. I just gotta say, <laughs> Dame Ayers is crushing the. They the talk. Game. They, were, just... they talk to you or about you. I'm sorry, but I think that question is for me. And women do talk to me. <laughs> I I would believe that. No, they they they, they talk to me. They talk I to me. I don't believe a that much. And that's why I don't stay with them. That's a problem. Yeah. I'm th- I'm pretty sure that was for CJ, but correct me if I'm wrong. Dave, right? <laughs> it's not my fucking birthday, freaking Kyle. All right. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. Birthday to fucking guy. You. Happy birthday, CJ. I can't wait to see you <laughs> in the uh, so year birthday. That's birthday. awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Do you repurpose the back hair, Phil? What is going on in the chat? Oh, wow. My favorite was when. Was when... <laughs> oh my god! My favorite was once when. So C... We're gonna have to ask you to leave. <laughs> <laughs> One time, CJ said, "I don't yell at people, and I'm not angry." I'm not. Why? Why does everybody think I'm angry for? I don't yell. I said, I, 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 I just, I I said self awareness score of zero. 
Yeah. <laughs> who's yelling? Yeah. Who, who's fucking yelling over here? Come yeah. on. See, I don't hear. I don't hear yelling. I hear Brooklyn. Yeah. <laughs> I'm actually not from Brooklyn. I'm from Queens. What is your nationality, CJ? I'm from Queens, but but you know it's close enough. What's your one of the what's, boroughs? What's I'm hearing one of the boroughs. Okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what's your nationality? Greek. Greek. Oh, okay. American baby, through and through. You know, I I used to be friends with a um a Chicago. <laughs> Uh, Chicago Greek girl, and she, yeah, I, that she that guy like that sound. So what happened? What happened to break up the relationship? Is she single? No, she is not. <laughs> oh, forget about her. What happened to break up my my friendship with her? Um, typical girl drama stuff. She stole your identity. Oh, a Greek girl, a Greek girl that was dramatic. Wow. I was just going to say, this is the quietest I've ever seen Phil on a stream ever. This whole show has been amazing. A freaking shock. I don't know what's happened to, 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 to Cliff. He's on Cliff, his phone. Okay he's, he's clearly yeah, on grinder right alone. now. He's leaving Cliff, a, Cliff, a Cliff, negative Cliff, review. He's like, I'm, I'm, I'm logging off of Sniffy. He's leaving a negative review. <laughs> Seriously. All right, we're we're at an hour. Legion and comics. What's going on with you? Uh, tomorrow, I have my weekly vlog coming out. It's the Masters Week vlog, so it's it's interesting. You get to see the de evolution of me through the week, but I, I still got it done. And uh, I watched the last one. You seemed pretty tired. Yo, oh, I, I, watched I watched the, the members one, one and I was like, I was still concerned for you. And you're like, this afternoon, you're like, no, you don't got to worry about me. You don't got to worry about me. And I was I like, did. yeah, um, I'm worried about you. <laughs> yeah, there's, I, I, I put in like, I, so that one where I'm just like, it's Thursday, I'm tired. Like there was more to that. I'm like, I'm just going to take all that out and just leave that. It was funny transitioning from me and the wife shotgunning a Red Bull to that. And yeah, Becker's was comment awesome. was great. He said, watching y'all shotgun a Red Bull really puts that week in perspective for us that aren't there. But uh, <laughs> it was it's fun, man. It's not I wouldn't want to live like that all year, but you know, two weeks out of the year ain't bad. 122 you, hours in two weeks. If you get through it, you're like yeah, that felt good. Can you, name, well. can you name the master's winner? Yeah, well, Scotty Sheffield. Oh, I'm, you surprised me. I didn't think you'd be. Yeah, able I to. told, I told you I'm not like big on sports, but I watch the Masters every year. It's like people who don't really follow football, they enjoy watching the Super Bowl. At least it's a big event. But uh, yeah, yeah, I watch the Masters every year, and uh, it, it was awesome. It, it was really cool. I mean, that that's enough golf for me for the year until I take the kids to putt putt. But <laughs> yeah, it was it was really fun. It's exciting. Like you, uh, yeah, watching the the end like it wasn't as dynamic because he had such a lead by the time, but watching him finish it out and watching it like it's just it's just it's impressive to watch. It really is. Like it's it's insane the level of talent that's out there. I can't yes. imagine. But uh well, yeah, check out stuff. yeah, check out Legion of Comics. We are Legion, a great a great brand focused <laughs> channel. <laughs> <laughs> Check my man out. Let's go. Let's go with TJ. What's up, Flash by Night? What's going on with you? So I've been slacking. I've been non-committal, but I'll say this here. So I have. So I have to stick to it. Uh, I'm going to try to bring back. I'm already. I'm already hedging my bets. I'm going to try to bring back Transformers <laughs> Thursday, and I'm going to try to oh, oh, do a review of Transformers 20, 21. There we go. First aerial box. We'll try to do that. We'll try to do that this Thursday, and we'll see if I can stick to it. That's all right. We'll check out my man Flash by Night. Also, check him out on TikTok. I have not been on TikTok as much, but I know you're you're uh, building a little following on there. So if yeah, you're on TikTok, I, 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 I fiddled around. I trolled my first person this week. <laughs> this 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 one guy that whined about Samantha Irvin. Uh, being a little emotional at, at, at WrestleMania, he whined about it. Everybody, everybody on TikTok who watches wrestling made a video about him. I joined in. I joined in <laughs> on the bandwagon. I'm a bully. But but bullying the person that bullies somebody else isn't that bad. You can't <laughs> beat him. Join him, TJ. We got your back. <laughs> here's my here's my question, TJ. Was she crying because? Uh, Cody was becoming the champ, or was she crying because Roman was losing the champ? Um, 
she got caught up in a couple of them, but I think I think it was Cody because I I don't think she knows. I don't think she wants to know the results. I think she gets the results fresh, so she had the same. She had the same reaction as the fans do, and, yeah, I like and, and and she was like everybody else. And Cody had people crying in their in their feelings. I was in my feelings. And that's what he was talking about was was feelings and emotions and crying and wrestling and it's a man's sport. I'm like, no, uh, uh-uh. mm-hmm. mm-hmm. but that's the whole point. I mean, now that we know it's all storytelling, we fully understand that it's men soap opera. Isn't that pretty, the entire point? Much, yeah. You get immersed in you get immersed in it. Let them tell the stories. Make make it look somewhat real, or or if you're or if you're Gunther, uh, uh, actually beat up people. <laughs> That's why I read X Men. They, there you go. <laughs> and 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 somebody, I, I almost somebody else almost caught my wrath before that on um on one of John, on one of John's posts. Somebody compl- uh, Somebody was talking about uh grown men uh watching <laughs> watching X Men's cartoons, and I, uh, I I wrote I wrote shut the fuck up, and then. <laughs> I wrote shut the fuck up and TikTok took my comment down. <laughs> you can't. You gotta let people be wrong on the internet sometimes, man. You just gotta I, let them. Be I, I let yeah, 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 the yeah. slide, but 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 the troll in me is getting hungry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've got I've got to feed the troll every once in a while. Well, that's my man. Check out TJ the troll in hiding, waiting Love to pop you, out at any moment. Under Appreciate the bridge, on, brother. Yeah. <laughs> Let's do You're, let's do carried next unofficially official geek. What's going on with your channel? You 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 missed officially it. unofficial. Dang it, I fucked it up. <laughs> I still can't Man, do it just, right. Just refer to me as the OUG. That that <laughs> oh, helps for a reason. Okay. I'm referred to as the OUG for a reason. See, there's branding. Everybody, branding, Marcus. You gotta work <laughs> on that branding. Everybody yeah. can, it's because nobody can say my name for some reason. Um so uh writing vlog new writing vlog went up yesterday and i just didn't do it all week and the novel is eventually going to be finished and um i next coming review on poetry will be this baby right here um so yeah i i read stuff besides comics and and hopefully i can do some more comic reviews soon that's what's up we'll check her out on youtube as well as the instagram thank you so much for jumping on gary i appreciate you Always let's fun. do let's do john's comics with kids or uh, i'm john's gonna be referring to as john john yeah. saget from here on out what's going on with you? I mean, yes. other, other than stirring pots and taking shots uh i'm uh next tuesday i'm over on no good comics for uh omni x-men's back this weekend i'm gonna go comic hunting a bunch of local homies in this area we're gonna be uh hitting some shots and looking for books and things so uh, i don't think i'll be doing any shows between now and then uh this was my uh this is my big hangout this week well i pr- man i'm glad you know, to get a first appearance in i appreciate you so much those, those, those shops are nobody cares about white well comics okay. <laughs> so john let me, well, john let me know what those shops are so because i'm pretty sure i'm going to be in your area pretty soon so soon enough sir yeah, soon so, enough. So i'm going to keep them warm for you okay. i need to know what john thought of the most recent episode of x-men I mean, it was phenomenal. I is the yeah. best episode. I, it, it's legitimately the best thirty minutes that has ever been made in the X Men well, period. That question. Oh my God, he's not going to shut up now. There's, there's a go find <laughs> the short. It's on my yeah. It's on my YouTube. It's on my Instagram. It's okay. It's, yeah, it was phenomenal, and I'm so I, looking I, forward to tomorrow I'm still, morning. I'm still ugly crying in my head. Oh, it's absolutely. Lovely. And tomorrow morning we get Life Death Part Two. Oh, I ugly, I ugly cried for a day, and then after it, I realized that Gambit is my. My modern day Optimus Prime. <laughs> well, yeah. thank you for jumping on. I appreciate you. If you guys ever get bored with FOC and chill, they start <laughs> they start before me. So you can always go check out some X Men chat. It's either on John's comics with kids they or talk about a single movie. issue for four hours. <laughs> <laughs> Minutia, baby. Last week, last time we talked about issue one eighty nine, and it was legitimately one of our least favorite epi- issues we've ever read and it was a ho- it was a lot of fun for two hours we just tore this book up <laughs> there you go if you like more of that check out my man thank you so much for jumping on man i appreciate you let's get that let's get that hater on the screen <laughs> <next>. What's <going> on? <laughs> there he is 
What's going on I mean, with you, my brand. Man. Yes, I am the hater. <laughs> <laughs> uh, usual stuff. Uh, I did drop a Let's Collect tonight. Realized I had effed it up. It was really good. Me. Donna Troy. Hey, well, although, although there was that one slide that didn't work. The rest well, of it was I fixed phenomenal. It, so there's a correct version now up. So okay. a lot of views, but whatever. It was like 30 views. And all the comments. That Team Donna Titans fans worked. need to check it out. Check it out. Spoken so like a true grand man. Yeah, I just, <laughs> yeah, exactly. I do have a question for JP. Are you guys doing any more D and D live yeah. soon? Yeah, we're Every on. Uh, we have a new dungeon master, so he's hosting. Yes. We are on. Okay. Who's that? Comics White Whale Comics. White Whale Comics. Every Sunday night. Yeah. I am the greatest barbarian in the world. <laughs> you were. You nearly <laughs> killed us. It, this it, last and week. if you need, if you need a little fire starter, let me know. There you yeah, go. No. Yes, my character was about ready to kill Tony's character. This week, yeah. So. <laughs> Civil War. <laughs> it's going to be, yeah. So, yeah, we're still playing uh, D&D on White Wolf Comics Channel. Mark's put the when, when, uh, Is it Sundays like before? Yeah, or? same time slot, ma'am. Same time slot. Okay. So. That's uh, what's up. Well, thank you so much for jumping on, JP. And I'll plug it again, my favorite comic book YouTube series, JP's budget collecting yeah. six month look back. It is a must That'll watch. All of, you, all of you should be watching that every single week. It gives you such a beautiful perspective that is so worthwhile. Just, so thank you for that series, man. I really no do problem. appreciate it. Thank you for FOMO. I, I personally want to see how how long that beard can get on JP. On JP. <laughs> <laughs> mm, we're not at six months yet. So uh, Thanksgiving, I think, is the last time I trimmed it. So I'll let it go, man. Ooh. I want I want to hit I want to see it hit the ground. It's not gonna go. <laughs> can you at least to the point where you can breed it? Well, I won't. <laughs> <laughs> I think I probably could now. I am getting close. Yeah, that'd be awesome. Yeah. Okay, Tony. Well, what's going on with you, my man? Thank you so much for jumping on and drinking with us tonight. Well, don't thank me for drinking. I thank you for giving me the opportunity to drink. <laughs> the opportunity. You're very You're welcome. Anyway, the but, opportunity to drink live. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, this session of it, 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 it was brought to you by Club Rat. Actually, it, 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 the opportunity of drinking live is better than opportunity of drinking dead. Um, <laughs> but um, mm -hmm. the way I can do it and share my drink with everybody, I appreciate it. Um, what am I doing? I do the I do the uh, Thursday um, train wreck every week. You know, I do that every week. Um, and then sometimes it's live, have... and sometimes it's not, and sometimes he doesn't know. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it happens always. Sometimes I sometimes I once in a while I do a live. I don't realize I'm doing. He a legitimately live. did the show live last week and was unaware until the very end of the show that he was live <laughs> the entire time. It is one of the best shows you can ever catch. I'm just telling you. That's that why was, it's the trade. I, I had to jump into the chat at the end and be like, "You know, you're live, right?" And he's like, "Wait," and he's like reading the comments and realizing it. It's amazing. Yes. That's why it's the trade. Why right. am I, I, I have so no good. clue. I have no clue. <laughs> Seriously, I have no clue. I love this guy. Um, but um, is this so I'm I'm like on the totally opposite of the spectrum that um that John is talking about for <laughs> for, for hours on end. Um, oh, you oh, have man. a brand. I'm totally <laughs> brand. no, Tony. You have a brand. Don't He's incredibly brand. consistent. What's my brand of being an idiot? What's my brand? <laughs> You've Drunk nailed it tonight. Drunk and debauchery, yes, that's that's your brand. Oh, I like it. Sign me up. Okay, thank you very much. Sometimes, <laughs> just remember, sometimes brands are by accident. That is true. You know, that is true. Train, a um, drunken train wreck. That is your brand. Yes. That's my brand. <laughs> you found it. Who'd have thought? Anyway, so and then so I have that on Thursday nights at seven, and uh, Eastern time, and um, then I'm on you know White Whales um, show on Sunday doing D and D. Every once in a while, I'll if I get a, um, I'll do a story time. There's another book I'm thinking of picking it up and doing the story time, or we'll do some just like sipping live. I don't, I don't really don't, you know. That's what I'm doing. And that's a brand that I can get with whiskey and screw. -ups. There we go. <laughs> <I know. laughs> well, thank you so much for jumping on. I am sub to your channel. I actually didn't know you had a channel, so I'm locked in now. Oh, oh, thank you. Nobody so else knows I have a channel, so that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> Thanks for jumping on, my man. Naman, the, the ninja, the one that's been hiding. Nobody even knew you were here. And if you yeah. want to rate TJ now, I'm all for well, that. Since what I don't have friends, I'm here to, you know, tell you guys about. I want to make a couple announcements. Well, Bram, you're the worm. That's who. The, that's your Bram. You're you're the freaking comic worm. <laughs> no, I, I, I come you're here. You're the worm guy. Has the brand. Circumstance has the brand. He's the community guy. So I do have community news. Oh shit! To, uh, oh, CJ is the uh, oh, no circumstances is uh, the community guy. Okay, good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm trying to build a. Uh, some kind of a text to voice communication system for Papa, uh, Frog, Frogman, for what? Frog, Frogger Man, Brawler. Frog Brawler, yeah, yeah, Frog Brawler, yeah. He and I have been working on it, and um, work working on the sound boards and stuff, and uh, where he could uh, type and comes out as a voice, so. We try to get that all working for him, and uh, so. that's so awesome. That would so, be great, yeah. Because I love having Papa's in chat, man. He's so funny, yeah. Like, especially when I'm he gets on like CJ. Like a samples like this. Good morning, Vietnam. <laughs> you want him to sound like Robin Williams? Yeah, yeah <laughs> hey, I I Yo, imagine Papa just sounding like Robin Williams. It's all the time. So so basically, you're giving him a voice now to, to insult me instead of just yeah, fingering like me. Hey, <laughs> that like was it. double weird. Like how, how, like you know, how to insult CJ memes from everybody in the community. So if you can send me MP3 files. No. Fuck you, like CJ. No, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> no, fuck me. Fuck you, all right? Fuck That's me. It. Fuck you. Let those, let those, let those, snippet and click those and send it to me, and I'll, I'll assign a button to it on my, onto a uh, Papa's. Oh, man. Um, <laughs> doing the Lord's work right here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. DJ, I love it. The other news is that uh, me and Roger and Sleepy Reader, we team worked on a eBay sniping. We team worked on eBay sniping, and we want something really fantastic. We got tons and tons to show. So three of us are doing uh, some kind of a team teamwork live stream. So look for that probably coming Sunday. No, wait a minute. Hold on. You're doing eBay. Explain what's an eBay sniping. <laughs> sniping? EBay sniping is when uh, when you wait till last last few seconds and stop bidding on a, a merchandise. So to get the okay. So you guys aren't selling. You're sniping. Yeah, we're, we're trying to buy, and we, we did a fantastic job buying something. So, so basically, you guys like breaking hearts. <laughs> yeah, they do. They do. So, exactly. Somewhere out there, somewhere out there, you know. Some Scotty of us was, like to build each other up, and some of us like to tear each other down. Is that? <laughs> 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 sorry, guys. I'm sorry. If, if I, I used to like you. If, you lost in that sniping. I'm sorry. I'm. That's. I August. mean, eBay. eBay is like a dystopian wasteland, anyway. So, <laughs> <laughs> like that, like it's either kill or it's either sniper, be sniped on eBay. So, you know, be the sniper. <laughs> no, they're, they're, they're making the seller happy. So. They're, making, they're making more money for the seller anyway, so they're, they're not bothering anybody. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Anyway, so I, I mean, seller was I'm sure was happy, right? So. <laughs> but we did a fantastic job. You guys were, I mean. If you guys into uh, comic books, art, then you'll love it. So, so just Sunday. let me know how many come in cereal boxes. How many packages come in uh, packaged up in a cereal box instead of regular packaging? That's what I want to know. Anyway, there so go, that's it. inquiring. That's Thanks for having me. Circumstance, appreciate you, man. TJ, thank you so much for jumping TJ, on. You asked a question. He says, anyway, you just <laughs> yeah, he's a, a rude worm. We will we'll know him. We all know he's rude. He's rude. He's very Just rude. Who you off? All right, C listen. CJ. We getting any insomniacs here anytime soon? Maybe. What's up? All right. Here's the thing. You go to my channel. You put the ding, ding, ding. You know the, the little ding, 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 the little bell thing. You're gonna click that, <laughs> and then maybe magically you'll see a video pop up. I'm not doing that. <laughs> Sorry. Hey, 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 take him off. This is my time. My, this is my time. This is my moment. No, no, not his hands. My hands. Get his hands off of here. He's a the same thing, right? 
<laughs> Listen. All right. Don't take my time. This is my time to shine. Okay. <laughs> what? No, no. It's like no. puppet theater or something. What the fuck is this? Just do your spell. Whose hands are those? Whose hands were yours? It doesn't matter. Damn it. Anyway, anyway, old joke aside. Listen, I've been in a mood. I've been in a mood. So here's the thing: when you see me pop up, it's gonna be with no with no notice. It's gonna be no nothing. It's gonna pop up. I'm gonna speak unfiltered. I got things on my mind. I'm gonna say things without other people interrupting me with their freaking fit hand gestures. <laughs> and, and I'm gonna say things. People will listen. They'll either agree, disagree, like them, not like them. I don't care. I'm gonna say them because that it, it's my channel. And I can say what I want on my channel. All right. And that being said, I'm gonna ask everybody. Sorry, I'm gonna do this uh, as far as plugging something right now. Okay. But since, since you're ending the show. After the show ends and everybody says their goodbyes, I want to ask everybody to go over to K-Pop's channel because she's doing a good interview right now with uh, Sebastian, the owner and uh, writer for uh, uh, Stranger Comics. It'd be nice to go show her support her. She's the queen of Insomniac Nation, and I like to show her support. Okay. And I'm going to go there right Aww. after this. That's so sweet. Okay. Wait. I, I didn't say it to be That's sweet. Nice. I said to support her. Did he, just, did he just do something nice for someone? Yeah, yeah. It happens he just did something nice for somebody. Oh, I do watch the nice things. I, go the oh, I, like I only do nice things for people. <laughs> TJ, I thought you were such an asshole, but you're such a nice guy. She is look live at me. right now. Look, hey, dog, look at that. me. You're the asshole. I'm not the asshole. You're the asshole. <laughs> And on that note, thank you to everybody that jumped on. We had a full house this Marcus! week, which was a lot of Marcus. fun. Oh, Cliff. Oh, Cliff, I'm sorry. I can't forget my man. Last and most certainly not least. I would never forget. Oh, Cliff, I'm the worst, man. I'm sorry. I just I to I meant to do CJ laugh, and I'm, and I'm, blocked all night. Like, I'm sorry. Now we know Cliff, why Cliff thank is, you so you know. much for jumping on. I appreciate you, brother. What do you got going on on your channel? Can we get Cliff a date? Can we? Uh, somebody out there needs can fix Cliff someone up with somebody. He needs yeah. that definitely needs to happen. The small yeah. plug, uh, the Council of Comics new comic day. We're going to be live for a while because we've got some health issues in play. So it's it's screwing up the editing. So look forward to seeing us live 8 p.m. on Wednesdays for a couple months. That said, uh, a friend of mine just uh, hooked me up with Hope to Dream from Ashley Furniture. Or Ashley Home Store. Okay. Um, so if you have a child in need that needs a bedroom set, um, a twin size bed, and a little bit of furniture and a fresh pillow, you can go to www.ahopetodream.com, fill out the application there. Uh, they're wonderful. Uh, free. That, comp- I, 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 I'm sorry to interrupt. Is there a URL for that that we can put in the chat? For which one? Oh, wait, I put uh, Cliff in there. I put Cliff in there twice. You want Council of Comics? Yes. You got Whatever it. That one Perfect. Is. Um, I didn't mean to re- interrupt you, but I, I like to see the URL. No, worth, or worthwhile. Yeah. yeah, there you go. Um, but anyhow, really great organization. So if there is a Ashley home store, Ashley furniture in your area, then it's very likely that this program is available to you. Cool. Um and cool. then, um, so this, so every year at Alterniverse, our LCS, we do free comic book day. And the last few years, we've turned it into like a mini con and we've had special guests and we have great guests this year, Ryan G. Brown and, and all sorts of wonderful people. But our friend Tom, who organizes the event every year, his little sister has cancer. Um, so all the extra activities that we're doing this year um, for Alternacon are going to contribute to her GoFundMe. Very cool. So what, what, what type those, of cancer? What type of cancer does she, does she? What type of cancer does she have? Um, I haven't asked Tom. It's oh wait, okay, it's lymph, lymph, lymphoblastic leukemia. Oh my! Jeez. Oh, and I just posted it on my uh, on my Instagram while we were wrapping up. Where is this at? Uh, Hyde Park, New York. 
at Alterniverse. And actually, I should add that information to the description. Yeah, and that's sure. the Hope to Dream I'm, website. I'm, I'm, right? I'm, I'm, I'm and that is the Hope to Dream, dream website. <laughs> Thank Dude, you, nobody, nobody lives near me in Indianapolis. So, <laughs> Dude, do me a favor, Cliff. Send me over the links on IG, you know, the Instagram. And I'll I'll put them on the next time I uh, do a live. Thank you. Right, I'm, cool, I'm, I'm not hopping into the bandwagon, but could I send you one for for what I'm doing, which is the um, what the hell are you doing? Um, okay, <laughs> so last year I did a the the 24 hour for a uh, pediatric brain cancer. The cure starts now. Are you doing it again? Um. Uh, uh, I'm I'm putting in the URL in my in all of my um videos. So I have to work I have to I have to plan to do another 24 hour. Mm -hmm. But right now I'm just sticking in my videos and and scrolling the the uh, the URL for it. Um it, uh, so if, if, you know I'm not, I'm not I'm not I'm not trumping on on cliff stuff, but if I can send CJ, my URL to help out. I appreciate it. Send it out when, when, when I do it. I'll, pl I'll put it up there as long as I know what the hell it is. Make yeah. sure you, you send me where you're sending me. Because if I, when it, you people you send me links, it's usually porn links. So <laughs> I gotta make sure that. So we're so just why? trying to help. We want to make sure you're entertained, <laughs> CJ. Really okay. <laughs> You've never <laughs> said thank you. So <laughs> So the cure stats now is for pediatric brain cancer, and I had a friend, a family, whose child died at ten years old because of it. Um, so that it's very close to to the you know to to me. So um, we I did the twenty four hour, and so and now I'm, I'm I'm so I'm putting it now in my URL when I do my the banner when I do my my channel. Um, to to get you know all that you know 100 percent of that money goes towards research. That's what how they do it. So, um, that's why I'm doing it. Uh, very great causes. Thank you, thank you for that. And Cliff, thank you so much for jumping on. I appreciate you. And that's a great cause as well. So that's one of the great things about this community is there are more than one cause, and um, there's and, there's enough room for all of them. And Cliff, thank you for bringing up the cause, but thanks for bringing down the whole channel. Well, you know it, what? We were wrapping up, so it was a Jesus, great time Tony. to just plug it down. I mean, all I can tell you about my new series, I'm going to travel yeah. state to state to meet, uh, you know, married couples who are part of the community and then try to try to have a threesome with them. I'm going to call it Cliff on Coochie, and you can look forward to that. <laughs> I just going to film it. Okay. <laughs> uh, the people uh, love alliteration. Oh, my God. Uh, we're going I to have to give you a special segment. Uh, there, you go. there we go. Since we're talking about <laughs> charities, we might as well plug uh, the comic book community's charity, which is Comics Curing Cancer. The, obviously, the big event is in October, but it's a year round thing. We've already had some big donations come in already. So be ready for the big event. But if you're looking to donate throughout the year, the portal is always open. So you have that option. Stay up on everything that's going on by plugging into Comics Curing Cancer on Instagram, where you'll find all of the information that you'll need and of course looking forward to their booth at heroes con here in june 14th to 16th cannot just posted wait. the booth location y'all see that yeah, booth wait, location man, I, 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 1769 still did yeah, you see the uh the picture of the floor layout prime real estate dude prime hell estate. yeah that's and what's up way, looking john, forward for that by the way john i didn't tell you thank you for your links because i'm not into that weird german porn Okay, <laughs> I'm not into that. Was is los with dear? I don't like that stuff. Right? I like normal conventional porn. I don't need. My, I don't need that special kind. John Staggett strikes again. <laughs> what a what a week, y'all! What a week. John Staggett just did. That's John Staggett just did. I'm leaving. <laughs> <laughs> thank what you to everybody that's jumping on that's all i've got for you what a crazy week man i appreciate it john you brought everybody out the woodwork this week man that was a good time all the man. trolls that's what i do yeah. say no to german porn <laughs> peace say yes